Hey, in case you don't know me yet, I'm Vani, a competitive Smooth 2 player who specializes in the support role and basically exclusively the Spiritual Junior. So far, my content has been only competitive, but I want to change that and start making content for both sides of the community, casual and competitive. I asked what some weapons are that newer and less experienced players have trouble with, and it seems a lot of people are struggling to fight the high risk lightly. If you want to see more from me in the future, consider subscribing if you haven't already, leave a like and let me know in the comments below what weapon I should do a video on next. And with all that out of the way, let's get started with part 1 of this series. Welcome to How to Deal with the Hydra Splat Day. The Hydra is a pure backline weapon. It excels at long distance fights and puts an insane amount of pressure onto an area. With its huge amount of range, high DPS and fast kill time that absolutely shreds ink armor and even booyah bomb, it often seems impossible to get rid of, especially when playing on maps that heavily favor long range weapons, such as Shellendorf Institute and New Albuquerque Hotel and on high grounds. Server Anakin! I have the Hydra! Don't try it! So now, I'll be going over the Hydra's biggest weaknesses and how to exploit them. Hydra has two major weaknesses. The first one is being hard on class with charges. I'm sure you know the feeling of being pinned down by a Hydra looking at you. Pretty awkward feeling, right? Well, that's exactly how Hydra players feel with the charger laser pointed at them, because they have more range and a one-shot kill. Every splatling gets out range by the splat charges, splat scope, and of course, every splatling's worst nightmare. The E-Leader 4K. So if there's a Hydra on the opposing and a Charger on your team, be happy, because their Hydra won't be doing much against your Charger. But if there's a Hydra on your and a Charger on the opposing team, you better come up with a plan on how to get rid of the Charger, because your Charger won't be doing much against them. Its second major weakness is its low mobility and insanely slow charging speed. It feels like I could go have dinner come back right in time for my charge to be done with that thing. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. So the worst thing that can happen to a Hydra is having to drop its charge, because it will take them two and a half seconds only to recharge. Any special that forces it to move and is strong against slow weapons is good against Hydra, as it is one of the slowest weapons in the game. A booyah bomb under circumstances it doesn't get shredded, an ink store, a stingray, a bomb rush to some extent, and of course, your best friend when facing a Hydra, Tenor Missiles. Tenor Missiles are the easiest way to neutralize a Hydra, because they will drop their charge, need to move, get back into position, and recharge for two and a half seconds. So you see, a single use of Tenor Missiles makes a Hydra completely useless for about seven seconds, giving you and your team more than enough time to move in and close the gap on them. When using a special to force the Hydra to drop its charge, it's important to follow up on that, as Hydra is incredibly vulnerable when caught without a charge. All kinds of bombs are annoying for Hydra. Splat bombs either will force them to move or will kill them. A single suction bomb will deny space for two seconds and force the Hydra to recharge and auto bombs have almost the same effect. Fizzy bombs are great against Hydra because of the insane trip damage and paint it provides. Two things Hydra extremely struggles to move away from. And burst bombs will paint their feet, something Hydra struggles with, getting them stuck in your ink. Throwing a torpedo behind them will either make them move or turn around to shoot it down. Two things that both make Hydra ineffective for a couple of seconds. And if the torpedo doesn't get shot down, They'll be stuck in your ink, extremely weak, and are just an invitation for anything to finish it off. When throwing bombs at the Hydra, you probably are in their range. So be extremely careful, hide behind cover, and only peek when actually throwing the bomb. Because its fast kill time will just delete you from the video game if you stay uncovered for too long. Lastly, Hydra is a weapon that is a sitting dog when caught from behind by a frontline especially in combination with its other weaknesses. So if you're a frontline and your team struggles to push because there's a Hydra, go on that flank and get him. 
I hope this video helped you being able to deal with Hydra better than before and it doesn't look as threatening anymore. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I'll see you all in a future video. Until then, have a great time.